Scott Goodwin Bay, a man convicted in a quadruple homicide in Springfield, will be sentenced tomorrow in a Greene County courtroom. Color 10's Parker Paget has been following this high-profile case in trial for months. And Parker, this case is now 10 years old. Yeah, that's right. And for our viewers that may not have followed this case uh, for every year that it's been around, I want to take you guys all the way back to the beginning of this quadruple homicide. It started back in November of 2014. Police were called to the Economy Inn, discovered the murders of Trevor Fantroy, Lewis Green, Daniel Keyes, and Christopher Freeman. In 2015, Scott Goodwin Bay was charged with those murders when authorities say Goodwin Bay shot the four inside of a hotel room because he was worried about people reporting his activities to the police. Now, in 2016, charges against Goodwin Bay were dropped when a judge ruled bullets from the scene couldn't be connected to him. But seven years later, in 2023, charges were filed again. A trial date was eventually set. Now, in September, of this year that trial began and lasted for several days hearing testimony from those at the hotel that night pinning the shootings on Goodwin Bay while defense attorneys argued the star witnesses were likely to benefit by providing that testimony. Another key witness for the state was a gun expert who through her experience told the jury the bullets found at the scene matched a gun Goodwin Bay tried to pass off to a gas station employee 10 years ago. The defense argued the gun science wasn't a true science and couldn't be taken as fact but after two days of deliberation a jury found Goodwin Win Bay guilty for the four murders. Now, prosecutors did not pursue the death penalty in this case, but under Missouri law, Goodwin Bay could get life behind bars. And I'll be here tomorrow for that sentencing. And even though video cameras are not allowed in the courtroom, we will do our best to bring you those uh, what was said in the courtroom and bring you uh, those results as we learn it, not only on the air, but also online at our website, OzarksFirst.com. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Paget, Color 10 News.